What you guys got another ransomware removal video here for you. This one's based on the FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation, and it's basically saying your computer has been locked or blocked uh, to at least one of the reasons specified below, and it's saying that you've uh, violated copyright uh, related laws for video music um, and software and illegally distributing that uh, copyright content. And also it goes on about um, pornographic or child porn it says there and obviously this is all fake it's trying to scare you into paying for something they want your money and if you're locked out of your computer which you will be then this is how they're going to do that it's also saying it's video recording you here if you had a webcam you'd be getting uh, some sort of video recording i've not got mine on so let's reboot the system into safe mode with command prompt the instructions are on the screen and i'm going to show how to quickly remove it it's pretty straightforward Okay, so I was tapping F8 on the keyboard to get into advanced boot options. We're going to come down to safe mode with command prompt. Now you may also be able to get into safe mode with networking, but I'm going to use the command prompt just in case they've blocked out safe mode with networking. Okay, so we're in safe mode with command prompt here. Now, if you can't get here as well, if you're blocked out as well and you're still getting the ransom, you can use Kaspersky Rescue uh, CD and uh, remove it from there with these same uh, moves. So what I'm going to do here is type explorer.exe. It's going to give us our actual desktop here. And what I want to do here is just close this off. And then we're going to click on the all programs there. Come down to start up here. And as you can see, there's a file inside here. I'm going to remove this. That's that removed. So what we're going to do next is go to computer and C drive users. Then the account that's infected. App data. Now, if you can't see that, you will need to show hidden files and folders. You can do that by doing this. So, if you're there, you need to put it in this little tab here. I'm also going to take the hide extensions for known file types out. Click OK, and you should see app data. Go straight into the local folder here and then into the temp folder. And there we can see our culprit. This is the one that's causing the issue. So I'm just going to remove everything inside here. So I don't want anything inside the temp folder. I'm going to skip that bit. So that's all now gone. So I also want to go back to my computer here. Then go into program data. I can see something here. I'm going to get rid of that as well. Close that off. I'm going to go start. Reg edit. I'm going to make sure uh, I'm going to go H key current user. I'm going to go into software then Microsoft then Windows then current version and I'll come down to run here make sure there's nothing in there. I can see something here as you can see I'm going to remove that it's probably something from something else just make sure that's all clean. I'm going to reboot the system now so let's reboot her up As you can see, we're back at the desktop. Now, I would advise you to run some scans with some other software just to make sure that the system is now clean. But obviously, you may have other infections on the system and uh, you want to run these scans. If you're still having problems, run an online scan and you should be pretty good to go after that. Empty your restore points and create a new restore point after all that. And that would be about it for this video. So, I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Enjoy these videos guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support, also rate and favourite me videos and I'll be making more videos again in the future.
So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.